EU driver's hours. EU driver's hours are defined in EU regulation number 561 of 2006. A week, a fixed week, starts at 0 o'clock on a Monday. Similarly, a fortnight is two weeks starting at 0 o'clock on a Monday. The regulations restrict some driver's activities, such as driving time, to so much in a week or a fortnight. A day. Here, a day means more a shift than an actual calendar day. Each driver will start a day or a shift at a particular time, say 6 a.m. 6 a.m., therefore, is the reference start time for a given driver's day, a given shift. Of course, the next driver's day or shift might start at 7 a.m. It varies from day to day. We will call this time ignition time. It's the time when you light the blue touch paper at the beginning of a given driver's day or shift. A driver's day or shift is then a period of 24 hours from ignition. Daily driving. This is the maximum number of hours that you can drive in one driving day, and it is usually 9 hours. In our first example of a day, it is the maximum hours that a driver can drive in the day, the shift, starting at 6 a.m. ignition time. These nine hours can go out to 10 hours two times in a fixed week. Weekly driving. This is the maximum number of hours that a driver can drive in a fixed week. It is 56 hours. 56 is four lots of nine hours plus two lots of ten hours. That is nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus ten plus 10 hours, or 56 hours. Fortnightly driving. This is the maximum number of hours that a driver can drive in a fortnight. It is 90 hours. So, in this sample month, for example, the driver could have 90 hours in the first fortnight or in the second fortnight or in the third fortnight. The fortnight slides to always cover two weeks. Clearly, if 56 hours has been driven in the first week, then only 34 hours can be driven in the second week, etc., etc. Maximum period of driving without a break. This is four and a half hours. Breaks from driving. There must be, say, tea breaks during driving. Breaks must add up to 45 minutes. There are basically two possibilities. 
Breaks can be taken as 45 minutes straight off after no more than four and a half hours maximum continuous driving. Or breaks can be broken into 15 minutes plus 30 minutes. Here are a couple of examples. Drive one hour and then take 15 minutes break. Drive another three and a half hours to make up the four and a half hours. Then take the remaining 30 minutes. The 45 minute break is a sort of watershed. After 45 minutes break, you can start another four and a half hour driving bout. Think of a boxing match. When the bell rings after a break, you start a new boxing round. So, suppose you did this. One hour driving followed by a 15 minute break. Then another hour driving followed by a 30 minute break. You have had 45 minutes break. So the bell rings and even though you have only driven for two hours total you can now start another four and a half hours driving.